Welcome back. In this video, we shall learn about functional components in React. Now, at this stage, we will want to start creating a full web page using React. And as you know, writing the whole code in here for our web page will be very clumsy and messy. So, we shall be using the component structure to do this. And the way to create a component using functions is like so. Okay. First, you come here and let's say I want to create a component for the header section of my web application. All I'm going to do is this. Let's take this out. Let's, let's get rid of this. And let's say header. Now, this is how to write a component in React. You ensure it starts with an uppercase letter and ensure there is a space here before the forward slash. So after this, I'll have to create a file with the name of my component I just wrote here. This file will contain all the code I was supposed to write in here for my header. So you see, instead of writing all the code here, I will just write the name of the component here, create a file, create a function inside the file and write all my code there. That is cleaner and more organized. So let's create the file header.jsx. You can use the .js extension, but I personally prefer using the JSX extension. So still in the SRC folder, let's right click on the folder and say header.jsx. And now our file has been created. Also take note, the name header.jsx starts with an uppercase letter. Now that our file is created, the first thing to do is to import React from React. So let's do that. React from React. This is going to help us interpret our JSX elements as JavaScript. So after this, let us export our components that we have not created yet though so that the index.js file can import it. And to do that, we are going to say export default and the name of the component. The name of our component is header, although we haven't created that yet. So let's come here in the middle and let's create some space. Now let's create our component and write the code we want to be in the header section of our web page. We are going to do that by creating a function like so function and the name of our component which is header and just like that now inside our function we are going to return our jsx element so let's just pass in something for now and say div and let's put in the p tag that says this is our header component Let's save that. Now let me explain this. Header is used as the name of the file, which is header.jsx. Also note that header is used as the name of the component. It's a personal preference. I like the name of the file to be the name of the component. You can choose to give a different name to your file and a different name to your component. And now the component header is this header right in front of the function keyword. So this export statement here is actually exporting this header, not the name of the file, header.jsx. It's exporting this header. So if I had something like my header here, it means I will be exporting my header, not just header. Now, coming back to the index.js, the component is just written here, but we cannot access it because it's in another file. But we can only access it by importing it. So to import a component to our index.js file so that it can be rendered, we are going to say import header from this directory and we have our header.jsx. So let's run a file and see the browser. To do that, we come over here to the command prompt and we say npm start. So let's pull up our browser 
our Google Chrome browser or any browser you're using and let's go to our local host port 3000 and as you can see we have this saying this is our header component let's zoom this so that we can see properly this is our header component so if I wanted to create a real header I'll just come here and create a nav section and do all the stuff I used to do in regular HTML so that's it for now this is how to create functional components in react don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share